What happens when cities and business work together in an entirely new way to tackle urban sustainability challenges? Representatives from two European cities, two global corporations and ICLEI, Local Governments for Sustainability, talk about their experiences of working with the Urban Infrastructure Initiative. By way of introduction is I'll ask each of the panel members to just quickly reflect on from their organisations, your company's perspective, your city's perspective, why getting involved with the UII was an interesting proposition for you. It's not about the technologies and content only, but it is about how things are done. And you were actually able to, to bring us uh, procedural uh, proposals for, for improvement and, and, and this was, was appreciated and I think we really need these kind of new ways to, to work together and to create solutions together. We have quite challenging decades ahead of us and, and quite some transformations need to take place and, and really cities and, and businesses need to get into a closer uh, co cooperation and, and new mechanisms have to be jointly created. You were uh, mentioning in, the, in the, the speech scaling up this approach. I would like to uh, scale it down a bit because uh, um, we, uh, with, with several um, uh, with, with, with buildings, with homes, we have we had several pro programs starting, and some of the some of those um, I stopped. I said, well, for first want to have a dialogue. I'm not going to do anything else. First, a dialogue. Then we had a dialogue, and the, the plan completely changed. What made it interesting for you to get involved in this group business initiative under the WBCSD? Um, well, as it was repeatedly pointed out today, cities are not about technology, they're about people. And uh, that is basically uh, why uh, working together helps avoid being lost in translation. So it, the UII typically helped uh, companies really understand cities' challenges and priorities and specifics. And um, we found out that it also helps cities understand that multi-company and multi-sector collaboration could make a, a visible difference. The initiative came at the right time, you know. In 2011 was a time where we had Siemens bundled our technologies that were already there under a new umbrella called infrastructure and city sector. So it was exactly the time where we're trying to find out how can we tackle this market, how can we add value. So we bundled our technologies, but as you mentioned, it's not about technologies. And the second step was how can we open up towards our ecosystem. Uh, so we were building up city account managers, a consulting team uh, that I'm responsible for, and of course the UI was, was, was an excellent bridge uh, to, to try to find out how this all works. I'd be interested to hear, Mark, where, where Ricklay saw the alignment with, with your work and your, your programs with, with the work uh, and the, the approach taken by the UI. We see it from both sides. We see, we talk to cities, we see what their needs are, and they have got key big societal challenges they've got to address, climate change, ageing population for example, and they can't uh, solve these on their own. They're the, the, the buyers if you want to uh, see it from that perspective. And then on the other side we were talking to businesses and working with businesses who are coming up with solutions to address these societal challenges. So we found it quite important um, to have an initiative that brings these, to get, uh, these two stakeholders together. So now what would be good would be to hear a bit more first, first from our city colleagues about your specific experiences about your engagement with the UII. It's necessary to have this cooperation at the earlier phase in order first to be able to, to, um, to identify and analyse the challenges appropriately and then to be able to, to uh, design solutions with the best available uh, knowledge, so that uh, the uh, there's knowledge of what is possible on the business side, what kind of solutions are possible to develop, and then for the business side, uh, there's a need and an opportunity to increase the understanding of the procedures of the cities and of the actual challenges of, of cities. Our program focuses on the buildings, homes, private homes, second part, part is businesses themselves, uh, their energy use, etc., and transport. Um, and I can mention quite a number of uh, uh, things that we changed a little or quite, quite a lot. Um,
For instance, one of the ideas that came up was um, the comply or explain model. And it's a model that um, we, uh, you, you all probably know, but we um, were more used to or have a model that we have, you have to comply, uh, or an open model that we say, well, we, we hope that you will do this and that. This is with uh, energy efficiency, isn't it? Yes, in yeah. buildings. In yeah. buildings. Yeah. In buildings. Yeah. I think I would not have used that model without uh, this uh, initiative. So that's one small ex uh, example. I'll go to our, 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 our company colleagues here um, to perhaps reflect more broadly given um, uh, both on the, uh, the work that we did in, in Europe with Turku and Tilburg but also with, with other cities around the world. What you saw some of the, the, the key lessons and outcomes were and, 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 and particularly where you saw value particularly for cities from, from this work with UII. Um, from my side, I think there are three main lessons. Uh, the first one will sound pretty obvious, is the fact that each city is unique. Uh, that means that every single engagement, as Stefan pointed out, was different from the other and different from what was expected. And that also means that it's very difficult to replicate what we learn in one city in another city. The second one is that despite that, uh, the challenges are basically the same. Again, uh, Stefan presented it. Uh, a lot has to do about energy and mobility and, let's say, resilience or inclusiveness or recovery or whatever. Um, and it also highlights the need for competition between cities. And the third uh, point is that, uh, as we also uh, mentioned earlier, um, multi-company, multi-sector collaboration is, is a mindset. It involves trust, it involves commitment, it involves a very firm belief that we can work together and that it will create something more that if we do it separately. And that is, uh, um, again, a real transformation from a company standpoint. It's really most of the complex thing you can do is to advise cities. I mean, I was advising companies for, for 10 years and more, more or less a strategy consultant. And believe me, that's not easy, but uh, consulting, advising, however you want to call it, early engagement, a city is the most complex thing you can do. This uh, notion of um, silos within business and cities. Um, and it'd be good to get maybe some reflections on how we break them down. I think we do need the silos and we do need a certain degree of specialization and of division of labor within the city and probably within the companies as, as well. So it's perhaps not exactly about breaking the silos, but it is about changing uh, the way how you uh, steer or manage the city, if you like, uh, and how you certainly how you build the city strategy and how you, how you develop the city. We um, did not break down the silos, but we make, made them smaller. The silos will remain uh, uh, re remain there, and it um, is one of the tasks of those who are in charge uh, to uh, make them horizontal as much as possible. I mean, we're trying to distinguish between front end and back end. At a back end, you need expertise, and this can only be done in a very deep, silo oriented way, because I mean, things are not easy anymore. Uh, but when it comes to the front end, to the interaction uh, and to bundling the different assets of the expertise, then you need cross-solution. And therefore, we are organizing our early engagement, be it with city account managers, consulting teams, and so on at the front end. But we uh, would never you know, change our competence center uh, because they are the ones that at the end deliver. The key question is now, what next? And, uh, and what, what have we learned here? What, what is useful? What should cities and business and cities and business working together do differently? A wider outcome of this work, I think it's important to raise awareness of this type of initiative. We're just talking about you know six, nine cities here. And I think if it shows that it worked, and it has done from, from what I've seen and what I've read, that we need to, to show this to other cities because the more cities are getting involved in this type of activity with dialogue, the more widespread it will become. Cities can't work on their own. We have made some moves forward and, and much more can be and, and, and should be done. And, and the aim, the ultimate aim of, of sustainable or smart cities is, is in the interest of, of all. So it's a real win-win-win. We came up with um, solutions that we ha could have never 
uh, Dramtov. We learned a lot from it, and now we implemented and were one of the first successful projects in the Netherlands, uh, implementing a project focused on private home owners um, isolating, uh, improving their own homes.